Welcome back to my channel once again. Today is going to be a short video. I just want to show you guys something I just got. And uh, I was getting out of church and uh, I was going to get change, keep on my routine. But when I got here, I got a package that I haven't seen. And it was uh, something I ordered like two days ago and I already got it. So one of the things, surprise, surprise, we're in coronavirus and I got it in two days, whatever going back to the point so you guys know i'm learning korean and i'm learning it with talk to me in korean i'm a level two still a level two i mean i cannot be superman going fast with it right the important thing is to learn and not to go fast okay by learning fast is better but still so i ordered two of their books because i am a responsible person and I plan for my future I already ordered the workbook talk to me in Korean workbook level 3 3 because I'm going to level 3 right so I'm going to open and show you guys how it is even though if you want to see how the books are and uh, get an explanation more in depth because I'm not going to explain nothing like you cannot get out anything of these videos because I don't know anything but if you want to know how like to use it correctly and um, everything you can go to talk to me in korean the youtube channel and they have like they explain everything like how it is supposed to be used what is the best way what they had in mind when planning to it so i'm just showing you guys not to how to use it but just showing you guys what i got okay so this is the level three this is the index here you guys have something like a hangul to read it and write it, uh, how to write it, the way to write it. And I think all their books have that, some cute pictures. And uh, they have almost in every lesson a vocabulary section, a writing practice, uh, and a dictation that you listen and you write or traduce, comprehension, some of them. And um, it's been really useful for me. So, yes. So yes, I'm excited because I'm gonna be on level 3 in probably 10 more days if I study every day. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited because I've learned a lot. Like vocabulary wise, I haven't like, I haven't studied or focused on vocabulary, but mostly on grammar. It's easier for me grammatically because vocabulary is just like you memorize stuff and you use it so it sticks to you so it's i think that's gonna be easier to learn than grammatic stuff that i'm not familiar with because i have a completely sentence structure different than what i'm used to and like uh you know particles and a lot of things i use that i'm not used to i didn't even know they existed but yeah so i'm focusing on learning that but i don't have to learn vocabulary but i know there is no use in knowing grammar if i cannot put it in practice and use it so that's why i order another of their books it's called my first 500 war korean words yes so this one i saw it of the out of their books they have another about vocabulary and uh yes it was good it was interesting i may think about buying it in the future but right now i'm more like um i like this one a lot better because it gives you like by day i'm not an organized person like if i don't have a set schedule or something i don't do anything i leave it always for the last minute so that's why this book is like pretty organized you have uh, 10 words for each day you have first day, you have these 10 words, and I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna... But they, like, explain it really good on their website. That's why I buy it, because of the explanation. But I'm like, oh, that's a nice way. I may learn vocabulary that way. Come back. So, finally, I open it. And my first Korean... 500 Korean words. And, uh... I did a little bit to struggle, so... <laughs> it's okay got to open it so yes i first of all i love the color like the design i love it i kind of like a 
purplish, bluish, pinkish, shish, shish. I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, so you first open it and you see what I mean? Like it goes by day. Day one, they have these words, 10 words. Day two, these 10 words. Day three, all the way to... And one of the things is there are useful words, like words that you use every day or they're like you're gonna be using it if you go to Korea or something. So it gives you an explanation. The same book tells you how to use it. And what I liked about this one that the other one didn't have, and so I chose this one, is because let me see if I find it. Like they they explain even the grammatic stuff. I don't know if they do that on the other one. The numbers, the the times, the counters for the person for things. Uh, okay, let's begin. They give you like a story with the words in English and the words that you're learning, they put it in Korean. So they get all the words and they make a story with all those words. Then they gave you the word, the meaning of the word. They gave you another related words that you can use or that are similar or that like uh, doesn't mean the same but they're similar in the sense of the situation they're used for example na is like me but cho is like me and yeah they explain it to you like polite te is my polite ne is my me i no is you you see it's not the same meaning no and na but like yeah and so that with every word and okay 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 that's good but you need exercises to remember so this is the whole story all in korean no translation while well, the translation at the bottom and uh they give you some uh, exercises to do and that's what what i learned the most with with exercises because it sticks to my mind and here in, you even got check marks that's nice i didn't notice that ah check marks before studying and after studying yeah so Back. So yeah, the shirt marks like a mess is what I like, like uh, organized stuff. So that's something that I love. So I'm pretty excited to start using it. That's I didn't even got to change or anything. I just got here inside and I opened it because I wanted it. And uh, I'm probably gonna stop this video when it's tired getting into it. My first day for the first ten words. And I'll wait until I'm level 3 to complete it. I'm already level 2, halfway. Wish me luck. See you guys. It was nice to see you on a Sunday. See ya.